Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Alpha spectrometry, also known as alpha particle spectroscopy, is the quantitative study of the energy of alpha particles emitted by a radioactive nuclide that is an alpha emitter. As emitted alpha particles are monoenergetic, i.e. not emitted with a spectrum of energies, such as beta decay. With energies often distinct to the decay, they can be used to identify which radionuclide they originated from. Experimental methods counting with a source deposited onto a metal disc, it is common to place a drop of the test solution on a metal disc, which is then dried out to give a uniform coating on the disc. This is then used as the test sample. If the thickness of the layer formed on the disc is too thick, then the lines of the spectrum are broadened to lower energies. This is because some of the energy of the alpha particles is lost during their movement through the layer of active material. Liquid scintillation, an alternative method, is to use liquid scintillation counting, LSC, where the sample is directly mixed with a scintillation cocktail. When the individual light emission events are counted, the LSC instrument records the amount of light. Energy per radioactive decay event. The alpha spectra obtained by liquid scintillation counting are broadened because of the two main intrinsic limitations of the LSC method. One, because the random quenching reduces the number of photons emitted per radioactive decay, and two, because the emitted photons can be absorbed by cloudy or colored samples, Lambert-Beer law. The liquid scintillation spectra are subject to Gaussian broadening, rather than to the distortion caused by the absorption of alpha particles by the sample when the layer of active material deposited onto a disk is too thick. Alpha spectra from left to right the peaks are due to 209 pu. 239 Pu, 210 Pu, and 241 AM. The fact that isotopes such as 239 Pu and 241 AM have more than one alpha line indicates that the daughter nucleus can be in different discrete energy levels. Calibration. MCA does not work on energy, it works on voltage. To relate the energy to voltage, one must calibrate the detection system. Here, different alpha-emitting sources of known energy were placed under the detector and the full energy peak is recorded. Measurement of thickness of thin foils. Energies of alpha particles from radioactive sources are measured before and after passing through the thin films. By measuring difference and using SRIM, we can measure the thickness of thin foils. Kinematics of alpha decay, the decay energy, Q, also called the Q value of the reaction corresponds to a disappearance of mass. For the alpha decay, nuclear reaction, PZAD, Z minus two, A minus four, plus alpha, where P is the parent nuclide and D the daughter. Q alpha equals MP minus M, D minus M alpha, C2, or to put in the more commonly used units, QE equals minus 931.5 delta M, duh, where delta M equals M products from reactants. When the daughter nuclide and alpha particle formed are in their ground states, common for alpha decay, the total decay energy is divided between the two in kinetic energy. TQ alpha equals T alpha plus TD, the size of T, is dependent on the ratio of masses of the products and due to the conservation of momentum, the parent's momentum equals zero at the moment of decay. This can be calculated. P alpha plus PD equals zero T equals 0 0.5 MV2. And P equals MV. Therefore, P equals 2M T 2M alpha T alpha equals minus 2M DTD 2M alpha T alpha equals 2M DTD M alpha M DT alpha equals TD backslash textile backslash begin aligned backslash is Q underscore backslash alpha T underscore backslash alpha and equals dash backslash 2M underscore DT underscore D backslash backslash four points 2 underscore backslash alpha T underscore backslash alpha and equals 2m underscore 10 e backslash backslash 4 points backslash frac m underscore backslash alpha underscore t underscore backslash alpha and equals t underscore d backslash and aligned q alpha equals t alpha plus m alpha m d t alpha equals t alpha 1 plus m alpha m d equals t alpha m d m d plus m alpha m d equals t alpha m d plus m alpha m d Therefore, T alpha equals MDM, PQ alpha, the alpha particle, or 4E nucleus, is an especially strongly bound particle.
This combined with the fact that the binding energy per nucleon has a maximum value near A equals 56 and systematically decreases for heavier nuclei, creates the situation that nuclei with a greater than 150 have positive Q-alpha values for the emission of alpha particles. For example, one of the heaviest naturally occurring isotopes, U238TH234 plus E4, Ignoring charges, Q-alpha equals minus 931.5, 234.0, 4,3600, 1-plus 4.0026030, equals 4.2699 MeV note that the decay energy will be divided between the alpha particle and the heavy recoiling daughter, so that the kinetic energy of the alpha particle, T-alpha, will be slightly less. T alpha equals 234.043600 and 1 slash 238.050, 4.2699 is equal to 4.198 MeV. Note this is for the 238 GU to 234 GDH reaction, which in this case has the branching ratio of 79%. The kinetic energy of the recoiling 234th daughter nucleus is Td equals m alpha slash mp q alpha equals 4.002603254.13 slash 4.2699 is equal to 0.0718 MeV or 71.8 keV, which whilst much smaller is still substantially bigger than that of chemical bonds less than 10 EV, meaning the daughter nuclide will break away from whatever chemical environment the parent had been in. The recoil energy is also the reason that alpha spectrometers, whilst run under reduced pressure, are not operated at too low a pressure so that the air helps stop the recoiling daughter from moving completely out of the original alpha source and cause serious contamination problems if the daughters are themselves radioactive. The Q-alpha values generally Increase with increasing atomic number, but the variation in the mass surface due to shell effects can overwhelm the systematic increase. The sharp peaks near A equals 214 are due to the effects of the N equals 126 shell. 